107 years of history now floating or at the bottom of the Allegheny River. <laughs> the old Holton Bridge was imploded this morning, a little ahead of schedule. As with the implosion of the Greenfield Bridge, people packed the hillsides to get a good look. Yeah, we have team coverage on this for you tonight. We're going to start with John Shumway, who had a front row seat for the action. John. Yeah, and we've been seeing a lot of this this afternoon, guys. Folks coming down. We've seen families posing for pictures, with the backdrop being, of course, the remainder of the old Holton Bridge, which now sits on the Allegheny River bed, now being chopped up into pieces. And a lot of folks who wanted to come out and watch this wound up missing it because they did go just a little bit early. With the eagle out of its nest and traffic stopped, All units, we're going for a 10 countdown. 10! The contractor decided to go eight minutes early. Here it is from our multiple cameras. I thought it was going to be longer. Very cool. It's a little nerve wracking. You know, uh, it's always the unknown. But in this case, the old bridge dropped just as planned. And PennDOT's engineers started an immediate inspection of the new bridge to make sure it wasn't damaged. The bridge is designed to withstand a, a, an impact. And from the beginning, this bridge was developed knowing that the old bridge would be imploded this way. So that's factored into its design. In fact, the only apparent damage tonight is a bit of shrapnel scratches in the paint. Even as the bridge inspection was underway, Brayman moved its crews in to begin dismantling the old superstructure, now sitting on the riverbed. The main span, which is the largest span in the Allegheny, has to be removed within 72 hours to allow river traffic to resume. The implosion clears the way for completion of the final lane of the new bridge going into Oakmont. It's a rebirth for our community. Our business corridor is going to survive because of it. Made possible by saying goodbye to an old friend. And the crews have just finished the box cut or are about to finish the box cut on the top portion of the bridge, as you see, as they work their way across the river piece by piece, removing the main span. In fact, in the last half hour or so, they brought in another barge on the other side uh, with heavy equipment on it to help in the cutting process. And then they're going to move each of these pieces over to the harbor side to be further cut up and then trucked out up here. All of the steel, we're told, is going to be recycled. But everyone I've spoken with so far has told me that they felt like the implosion went exactly as expected, and they're pleased with only a few scratches of damage to the new Holton Bridge. Live at Oakmont, John Shumway, KDK TV News.